Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how and what I use to mix for skim coating. Whether you're skim coating a repair, an entire ceiling, I'll show you the right joint compound and tools to use to mix up your skim coating mud. On this skim coating project, I'm going to be skim coating over this skip trowel texture to make it all uniform after doing some water damage repairs. All right, so I'm gonna be mixing up the all-purpose joint compound with my cordless DeWalt drill. And this is a paint slash mud mixer for just small batches of joint compound for skim coating or doing repairs, finishing, whatever. So this is more of a DIY or a handyman type of way to do it, but I wanna show how you can do it with a cordless drill. The reason you, you can burn out the drill over time if you keep mixing with it. It's not gonna hurt it to do it once in a while, but you don't want it to be your go-to mixer. But I'm gonna show you what I use when I'm doing a whole big project. This is a mixing drill, it's a DeWalt. And this is my uh, paddle bit that I've had for almost 10 years. This thing is unbelievably strong and mixes up fast. Uh, but I'll leave a link down in the description to all the tools that I use in this video and all my other videos. So you can check it out, see the specs on them, price them out. It's my Amazon influencer store, so check that out. I'll leave a link to this entire playlist at the end of the video in the end screen. All right, so I'm ready to mix. Going to use my cordless drill and the paint mixer just because I'm going to make up, mix up probably three quarters of a bucket. I'm not going to mix it real thin like a normal skim coat because I'm going over a heavy texture. So I'm going to leave a good amount of the body of the joint compound so I can build it down before I do the second coat, which is going to be a lot thinner. Okay, so I've got a container with water which helps me control how much water I put in and I know how much is going in. I'm gonna mix up probably half of what's in this bucket right now. It's almost full, probably three quarters, maybe a little more. So I'm not gonna go all the way to the bottom. I'm just gonna mix it up halfway down. That way I can adjust the next level accordingly. Let me know in the comments what kind of drywall project you're working on. So probably about a cup of water. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're liking these videos. As you can see, I'm using the USG all-purpose joint compound with the dark green lid. I like to use that for the first skim coat because it has a lot more glue in it. And I'm going over this heavy texture so it's going to hold up a lot better and adhere better. For the second skim coat, I'll be using a plus three lightweight joint compound by USG. As you can see, it brings the joint compound and water down into it, so it'll mix it. So basically, you just want to keep mixing it till it all looks to be about the same consistency. And when you're covering a texture, whether it's on a wall or a ceiling, you want a skim coat, you want to keep it a little thicker. I would say about a yogurt consistency would be good on the first round of skim coating. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more of these type of videos. All right, it's starting to look like how we want it. Again, it's a thick yogurt-like consistency since we're going over a thick texture and this is the first skim coat. Just wanna go around, make sure, looking good, looking good. Let me know in the comments if you're a DIYer, contractor, painter. Just kind of curious. All right, so that only took a couple minutes to mix up. I think that's good to go. Now, you want to keep in mind you're better off mixing it a little thick than too thin because you can thin it down if it's too thick. But if it's too thin, it's going to be difficult to get it thicker unless you have another bucket of joint compound. Again, it's the USG all-purpose joint compound with the dark green lid they sell this at most big box stores in your area i'm sure all right so gonna load up my mud pan as you can see the consistency's nice and creamy 
and it's like a thick yogurt consistency. Again, that's great for the first skim coat when you're going over a textured wall or ceiling. Also check out my memberships tab on my video page and homepage in case you wanna support the channel or if you have a question that needs to get answered right away, I have a way to do that as well. And if you wanna catch the next video or any of my upcoming videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button now in the center of the screen to keep up with all my videos. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave some of my most popular video links down below in the description.